Hey, welcome back to the final part of the show. Now, our new trend tackler panel gives their verdict on this gothic floral fairy tale trend. Here is the new lineup. Hi, Lara from Lithuania. Hi, Siobhan McHugh from Dublin. Hi, Caroline Bergen Cross from Dublin. Hi, Dami from Dublin. Laura Finn from Cork. Hi, Rosalind Taggart from County Derry. Ellie, thumbs up from you. You're happy with that look? I am, yes. I love the trio, the shoes, the necklace and the purse. Like, it's all really connecting and the design, the gold in the purse, it's perfect. What about yourself? Yeah, I love it. I thought it was beautiful. The accessories really made it. The leather gloves, always good for winter. So head to toe, you'd wear the whole look? Except the coat, just because the hood, I'm so small as it is, I might be a bit lost. Really? <laughs> I don't believe that. What about yourself? I loved it. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It was a perfect outfit, say, instead of a classic LBD for like a Christmas party or something yeah. like that. So, yeah, and would you wear the gloves, everything all in one like this? Um, I think I would actually, even though I might feel a little bit like Michael Jackson with the gloves, but I'd risk it for Christmas. Okay, good, <laughs> good. What about yourself? I actually love the dress so much because I was actually a two-piece, and I, lo I love the fact that it's so versatile as well. And I think the gloves just ties it all together, yeah. and that clutch is to die for. And the shoes, I love the shoes. <laughs> and it's kind of it's a bit over the top for Christmas, but I love over the top. So, so yeah, yeah so you would rock out in this look. Exactly, it would work for me. I love it. <laughs> what about yourself? Um, I love the accessories, especially the shoes. The jacket, I'm not too gone on, but I loved it. The two-piece, really like that. I'm a bit small for it, though, so it might be trailing along the ground, but thumbs up, definitely. The accessories seem to be going down well. Anyway, what about your lovely self? Um, I love the outfit. I love the cape. It was very like Snow Queen, and the digital print was on trend. The shoes were very like Valentino style. Yes, and they the were. Gloves. I like those. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and the gloves just finished it to a T. So, Irene, the fairy tale look went down well. Thumbs up from all the girls. I know. I love that. It's a great way to start. I think I know why they all like it because you could wear all different elements. Like we had seen Dodging Banner and all the catwalks, really this sort of opulence and playfulness. So, a bit of red riding hood. We decided to go for dark fairy tale because we're just a bit dark like that. You know, yeah. and uh, and also to make it a little bit more grown up as well, you know. But they were aware of it. exactly, yeah. And there was kind of lots of embroidery and everything. And we're bringing together loads of different fabrics. Irene, great look, well done, perfect. Thank you very much. And all those clothes featured were from the West End Shopping Park in Blanchardstown. And stylist Irene O'Brien joins me now. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about this look because Dolce and Gabbana are really rocking it this season, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Everything's inspired by all mm. the fairy tales. Really beautiful, opulent, scope, luxurious fabrics. I absolutely love it. And there's so many elements that you can incorporate mm. yourself. You're looking a little bit well, fairy tale. I'm a little yourself. bit inspired, I have to say, by those ads. You know, you see them in the glasses for Dolce and Gabbana. They've got everybody in it. They've got, I think, Claudia Schiffer. Yeah. Can you over embellish? No, oh, no such oh. thing as a fairy tale trend. You can make it whatever you want. It's not just for little girls. So little girls get to dress up all the time, but I think us adults can kind of bring, make it feel a little bit regal as well. But definitely, I mean, you're doing it very well there as well. Lovely. But I think Thank the you. capes bring in a lot of drama as well. There's loads of different ways. To now, do our, our team there, they, they, there were question marks, let's say, over the cape. That was the only one that they thought, I don't know if I could go that far. What do yeah. you say on the cape? Well, that's actually mm. a faux fur coat. Mm. And we wore it as a cape, so we added a little bit of drama. But of course, they could have worn that differently. I love it, because I feel like half the time we have to have hoods up and keep our hair protected anyway. So we may as well look luxurious and catwalk inspired while we're doing it. Well, Irene, what I like about you is you're never afraid <laughs> to take a risk. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> Thank us. Thank you so much.